sorry. We're closed. Oh, but your sign says that you're open until 8. I have to do inventory. We thought we'd browse around a bit, uh, dry off. It's, it's a nasty night out there. All right, I'll wait a few minutes. Now, I don't want to hear a peep out of you, Mary. And don't touch anything. Do you understand me? My mother had a sweet George and Tate baby. <laughs> no, no, little girl. Oh, I always liked the farm where she was. Oh, she'll have a farm. This one? Oh, no. These things are not to be played with. I thought I told you not to touch anything. Mary, you really should listen to your mother. She's not my mother. My real mother's dead. Are you going to let her stand here and talk to me like this? No, uh, of course not. Now, Mary... You haven't heard the end of this one, young lady. Let her look around a bit, Irene. She'll be good, won't you, honey? Look at this little music box. Let's have a look at it. Come on. Oh, well, is that unusual? Would you like it? I'd like to buy you some. Where's your parents? This is no place for a little girl like you. You better leave us alone. You have a smart little mouth, too. Go away. You can have anything you want, Mary. sick about you. Oh, my God. What happened to your dress? It was brand new. Well, some boys were picking on me. She did it. She scratched and made him go away. <laughs> She's got quite an imagination. Give me that doll. How much is the doll? I'd be glad to pay you for no, it. No, there's no such thing. She's not for sale. Nothing's for sale in here. Now, you must get out of here. Quick, out! Oh, out! Oh. I've never been so insulted in my life. No more.
time to go away. Darling, let's not start that again. This company picnic means a lot to me. All the top partners from the firm will be there. I'll be back in time. I'm only going for a couple of days. Well, that's good, because I was planning on announcing our engagement then, and it would behoove you to be present. Behoove me? I love it. Every time you get in a snit, you act like I'm opposing counsel. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I just wish you'd get this darn antique store business over with. Lloyd, you know I want to get it over with as quickly as you. I don't know why this Uncle Lewis left me the store. I hadn't even met him, let alone this cousin that I'm supposed to be sharing everything with. Okay. Mm. Maybe I can sue your cousin for a greater percentage of the inheritance. I can get in some litigation experience. Anybody here? You're Ryan Dalion. Yeah, that's me. Ryan the Lion. How'd you know? Uncle Lewis's lawyer told me you'd be here. I'm your cousin Mickey. How do you do? Michelle Foster? <laughs> Michelle? Jeez. I, I, I thought the telegram said Michael Foster. I was expecting a guy. Forgive me, please. 
This uh, sure does change things. So. Not really. Place sure looks great, though, doesn't it? Can't yeah, be blast fixing this place up. Hmm? Already looks blasted. Oh, great. No electricity. <laughs> That'll be turned on tomorrow. Where are you going? To call my fiancé to let him know I arrived safely. Is that all right with you? It's fine with me, sure. Hope you can yell real loud. Don't tell me. Tomorrow. Yep. Something tells me you had a little turbulence on your flight or something. Hmm? I've had a little turbulence all day. Hey, hey. Wow! Uncle Lewis must have been a blast at Halloween, eh? What kind of a man would be interested in stuff like this? You know, that kind of guy, huh? Why do you think he left this place to us? No, he didn't. The lawyer said it was in probate. We won by default. Lucky us. Would you look at this? <sighs> Please, God, let this be the most fantastic car I've ever seen. Thank you, God. The keys are in it. Come on, let's get out of here. This place gives me the creeps. Nikki, come on, check it out. Sit in the back seat. care to go? Home, James. And don't spare the horses. You know what that means? Almost certain death. Mickey, it was just a cat. Look, I don't care. Let's get down to business. I think we should first get an appraisal of this property. What are you doing? Don't you want to know what you inherited? All the ins and outs, nooks and crannies? No. I do. Look, this place is ours. Good, bad, or indifferent, we own it. Whatever's behind that door is ours. Listen to me. I'm starting to sound like Monty Hall. What'd I tell you? Veritable gold mine. Unbelievable. I don't know, Ryan. Something doesn't feel right about this place. What was that? I'll check it out.
Look, I really don't care. No, 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 no. Let's take a look here. What do you think this is? It's a record of everything Uncle Lewis sold. So what? So, Mickey, come on. I almost suffocated down there. All right, all right. So we got a few kinks to iron out. And that's not all. There was this doll. What about a doll? Never mind. Hey, don't blame me for all this. You really are a tight ass, aren't you? coming out of your share, okay? Oh. Hey, 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 no, 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 no. You might hit me this time. Something tells me you don't want to run this store with me. Look, Ryan, this might come as a great shock to you, but I don't want this store. I came here to sell everything off. Sell it? This has been given to us as a sacred trust. Passed down from generation oh, to generation. Cut the crap, Ryan. We didn't even know Uncle Lewis. Thank God for that. OK. What if I don't want to sell? Ryan, we're selling. Over my dead body. Hi. Yeah, I never wanted to run a business anyway. You get her name and number? <sighs> Nothing wrong with running a business, as long as it's not this one. Yeah, I hate this place. Ah, uh, yes, I know, I know. Two hundred. But it used to cost a thousand. Yes, but it's gone down since then. Uh, excuse me. I was here about six months ago. You had an antique doll. Uh, its mouth moved like a puppet? Yeah. Yeah, I think we still got that. Um... This the one? It sure is. How much is it? Well, for you, I gave it to you for... I'm um... sorry, that's not for sale. What do you mean? I mean it's not for sale. I didn't know you were putting it out. I'm really sorry. Mickey, Mickey what are you doing? I can't explain it. But, you know, what, this is no go. You said we got to sell everything. This is everything, okay? Thank you very much. I can't tell you how happy this will make hey. my little daughter. Our pleasure. Can we take a check? Sure. By tomorrow, we should have just about everything sold. Hmm? Just in time for you to go to that picnic with Barry Mason. Probably nothing like before. Mother, why are you whispering? Who are you? Jack Marshak. I supply this store with antiques. You've got a funny way of delivering. This isn't a delivery. It's more of a pickup. Louis Vendredi always had a selective memory about paying my invoices. <laughs> but how about you? You knew Uncle Louis. Uncle Louis? That's right. He was our uncle. You look too normal 
to be relatives of Vondrady. Why are you talking about him in the past tense? Uncle Louis is dead. Louis dead. Your, your uncle and I were boyhood friends. I taught him his first magic and read him his first tarot. I opened his eyes to the world beyond our own. And which one is that? You know, the world of spirits, the netherworld. Oh, you don't expect us to believe that, do you? You can expect me to believe that. You may not want to. Look, Lewis was always deathly afraid of growing old, and he was passionate about wealth, and those two things ruled him until he dabbled in things that I wanted no part of. Like what? Like deucins. Devil worship. Very good. How did you know that? Comic books. Deucins is a name, ancient name, given by the Gauls for a demon or devil. Yes, diablerie. Lewis was always telling me that he'd done his research and that he was ready to make a pact with the devil, something to do with his antiques, in exchange for which he would get immense wealth and immortality. Well, he couldn't have done that. He wouldn't be dead, would he? It would seem so. I suppose we'll never really know. Unless maybe he left some kind of record about what happened to his antiques. Guess what? You found something? Ah! Oh, the manifest came from up there. Yeah, yeah. What, what's all the hieroglyphics on the sign, Bill? Uh, the theurgical runes of the Demogorgon, my boy. That's black magic. Lewis always liked secret compartments. He had another one over here somewhere. Ah! What's all this? Oh. What is it? What's wrong? Oh, look up in the manifest for me, will you? See if, if there's... Any metal weather vane that was sold this year. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. What date? Um, May 29th. Well, May the 30th, the man was struck by lightning, putting up a metal weather vane. What about a 17th century ball gown in white, trimmed with lace? Yeah, there's a ball gown. What date? March 14th. March 16th, a woman died in a horrible fire wearing that at a ball. He made the pack. And there's many more. We're into some heavy-duty stuff here. Come on, this is ridiculous. If he had made this immortality pact with the devil, he'd still be alive, wouldn't he? Unless he tried to get out of it. You don't break a pact with the devil. Why? Well, what happens? Belial? Satan? He wins both ways. In this case, Lewis lost his life. And the antiques remain cursed. What about the antiques we sold? Those too, I should think. The doll. What doll? The doll we sold. The doll in the vault. What are you talking about? I thought it was my imagination, but that doll turned and stared at me like it was alive. Oh, wow. Thank you, Daddy. Mary, let's not let your mother know about this, okay? Okay. Can you still talk? I can still do everything. Isn't it just like you to buy the child a present when she doesn't deserve one? But she liked it so much. You know, when I first married you, that child was spoiled rotten. 
All she had to do was snap her fingers and you jump. She just lost her mother. I, I tried to make up for it. How do you expect a child to appreciate anything when she doesn't earn it? It will break her heart if I take that doll away from her now. Let me handle it. You find it? No. Here it is. It's got the address. I've got my code. You coming, Jack? No, there are still things in this manifest that disturb me deeply. There's a card reader I know, a medium. May be able to shed some light. You do know that it's not too late to go home and forget all of this ever happened? No, I'm not gonna think about going home until we get it back. I'm not totally convinced about this curse thing, but if there's the slightest chance that you're right, a little girl has that doll. Uh-huh. Are you? Lots. You know, your mommy's really very mean to you. She's not my real mom. I hate her. Oh, I see. She doesn't let you buy as many toys as your daddy, does she? Nope. She didn't even want me to have you. Hmm. I think that maybe she should be punished, don't you? Okay, who wants some more cake? Nobody can have any if they've been bad. What do you think we should do? I think we should. Mary? I want to have a little talk. No, I'm having a tea party with my friend. Don't you speak to me in that tone of voice, young lady. I don't hate you, Mary. I don't like the way you've been acting very much. All right, then I'll clean up my roof. I'm sorry, it's too late for that. Now, you left your bicycle down on that driveway again after you promised me not to. I'm going to have to take away your new doll. No. Yes, now you can have her back in a week after you've had some time to think about keeping your promises, Mary. No, you'll never take her away. Mary, give me that doll. Mary, Mary, give me that doll this instant. Now, you get in your room, young lady, and you stay there! Are you sure you know what you're doing? No. At least we have one thing in common. All right, that's it. You're asking for it now. Looks like we're too late. Excuse me. Do you know what happened? She fell down the stairs. It's awful. Such a nice family. There she is, with the doll.
Don't be afraid. I'm your friend. We just want to talk to you for a minute. You're not a friend. Go away. I'm here, sweetheart. I'm here. Where am I? You're in the hospital. I fell. Where's Mary? Oh, she's right Where's here. Where's Mary? Don't try to talk. Let me call the doctor. Excuse me, could you direct us to Mrs. Sims' room, please? Are you friends or relatives? Yes, we are. We're Mrs. Sims' niece and nephew. Something wrong? I'm afraid that Mrs. Sims passed away last night. She had a cardiac arrest. I'm very sorry. Ryan. I'm getting really scared. We have to tell Jack. We can't. He's off looking at his crystal ball or something, remember? Well, what are we going to do? Somebody could be in the same boat as Mrs. Sims right now. Thank you for coming over on such short notice. I have to make the funeral arrangements, and I... It's all right. That's what neighbors are for. You'll be okay. It's not me I'm worried about. Poor Mary. She's lost two mothers now. You go on. I'll take good care of her. This is Herbert. Now, Vita, say hello to Herbert. Herbert, say hello to Vita. <laughs> okay, there's Tigger. Vita, I want to show you Tigger. Okay. Say hello, Tigger. <clears throat> and that's Tigger's mommy. And that was my sixth dolly. That was so much fun. Just like you said I would. Want some more chocolate chip cookies? Well, Mary, you've eaten almost the whole package. Don't you think that's enough for now? I said we want some more cookies, and now! <sighs> Honey, I know you're feeling upset. I just didn't want you to have a stomachache. Well, now, maybe it would be a good idea if you had a little nap, sweetheart. You'd feel much better. For not sleepy. We want you to go away and leave us two alone. 
Well, you know I can't do that, honey. Now, I really think you should lie down for a while. Go away! Get out of my house! Calm down, Mary. You know what to do, Mary. This is such a great idea. You saw what the doll did last time. We sold it this family. It's our responsibility. I don't see the doll anywhere. Where's the... Yes, we need an ambulance. Uh, 33 Nottingham Way. Look, there she is. No, wait. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh... Remember me? I was at your house last night. You know why I'm here, don't you? You want to take Vita away. No. I don't want to take Vita. I have to. You better go away. Not until you give her to me. Over. Yeah? What about the other antiques? <sighs> oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, you're gonna be okay. 
Come on. Unfortunately, once the objects were cursed, they can't be destroyed, so that's the best place for them. Locked away where no one else can get their hands on them. And vice versa. So much for innocent playthings. What do you think's gonna happen to Mary? Oh, good shrink ought to be able to fix her up in 20 years. Lloyd, honey, we'll have to put the caterers on hold. Yeah, it's got to do with the wedding. No. I don't know how long Uncle Lewis left his affairs in a terrible state. Lloyd, darling, you don't understand. I have no choice. I... Lloyd? Lloyd? Maybe we should change the name of our place. What do you think? I've always been partial to the name Curious Goods, myself. This means we have to get back everything Uncle Lewis sold. Every pin, every tie tack, every stick of furniture. Not to mention everything we sold. Great inheritance, huh? Where do we begin? Oh, my God. <laughs> 